Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we have the Maryland campaign and we have an awesome event for you as our first map here is Washington Street in the skirmish game mode. And then secondly, we have Conquest on the Rivers Crossing map. It should be exciting to see both game modes. And with that being said, our regiments for the night. On the CSA during round one and USA during round two, we have i -Corps, 2nd Mississippi, RV in Northern Virginia, Kelly's Brigade, and the Pennsylvania Army. Whereas on the Union first round, the CSA second round, we have 6th Wisconsin, Sussie Brigade, Rebel 2nd Corps, and Jackson's Division. And with that being said, please support on the Patreon if you would like, and thank you to our Patreons. Hope you enjoy the broadcast. Here we are, live on the glorious Washington Street map. The sides are flipped. It's going to be exciting, at least for this first round. We'll be exciting the second round as well. But on the top right view of your screen, you have a frontline view from Killer. He's with the ANV. That is your view there. And then on the top left side of your screen, you have Zoo with the 5th Florida. That is his view for the CSA side. And then there's myself, of course, as Guardian Eagle announcing tonight's event. It should be good. I haven't seen the Maryland campaign before. I've been wanting to for a while, but I've been busy. So we will see how this event goes. Over here on the CSA side, we see 6 Wisconsin being very aggressive on this map. They're just kind of going for it. The rest of the CSA is slowly pushing forward as well, but mostly 6th and 15th Wisconsin. You have 5th NC following behind. The U.S. team, on the other hand, they're mostly falling back to this area of the map. You do have a couple of Union up groups up over here, they're mostly uh, first core here. They're holding on the far left. rest of the Union, though, is moving off to the far right side. CSA is also approaching this side of the map. You see Rebel 2nd Corps. They're pushing far left, and then to their right is 1st Delaware who are taking shots from the second Mississippi. Behind the second Mississippi, we have ANV. ANV is going to meet Rebel Second Corps, and they're about to slam into each other. Shots being engaged. It's close. Rebel Second Corps looks like they're going to win. They just have so many men. Uh, coming to their right, though, is JD. And that's going to really cut off A and V, and A and V gets wiped pretty quickly. Shots being engaged on the far left side of the map. i is engaging someone. We'll see who that is in a moment. But A and V being replaced here by KB. KB is moving in to try to take out JD and Rebel 2nd Corps. And... As of now, the U.S. portion of this KB is pushing through, wiping JD. And Rebel 2nd Corps, that flag is falling back with their officer. So I don't know if they think they're going to... That body just went flying. <laughs> I don't know if they think they're going to lose this, but... It oh looks no. like they will. Slowly but surely lose. Um, first Delaware here. Where'd they go? It looks like First Delaware... Has fallen back. Actually, that's second Mississippi. Where's first Delaware? I don't know. Yeah. So oh, there's CSA. Right. My bad. <laughs> so 15th and 6th Wisconsin are getting some flanking shots here on I Corps. Yeah. Um, you have 5th right. NC, 5th Florida, and 1st Maryland a moment of when you taking look to shots. Left and right, where there used to be men and realize you stand alone. True words could not have been said from Thank Zapstar. You. So this is this is the most exciting match of Washington Street I've seen. I mean, we're only four minutes into this round, and this is very exciting. First Delaware appears to have pushed further forward um, with Ninja here. They're taking shots at the second MS, who is really the only Union group that is forward at this area. KB is behind them. Um, Oh, wow, CSA is kind of pushed on all fronts, and they're doing it again. Uh, I'm guessing this is Rebel 2nd Corps, JD. They're coming up to take shots here at 2nd MS. Hitting that flag. Good shots. First Delaware along with them. These are nice shots here from Rebel 2nd Corps. Um, you could see that more Union have come in to assist ANV after getting wiped. They're now back. And able to assist, this will really secure this right side. I mean, 
Looks like JD is probably back here as well in that area, that, that group over there that's going to the far left. Back on our left side here. Nothing really hasn't changed. Um, of course, a lot of bodies. Um, but nothing has really changed. Are these guys going up and over? We got a couple of them going up and over here. Looks like they're just moving to this snake fence or straight fence to just try to get some better shots. This is, this does right have here, some better right shots. So, yeah, as of now, it really just looks like a stalemate between both sides. Um, both sides doing a pretty dang good job knocking the other side's tickets down. CSA does appear to be a little ahead, though, or they're dead even. I can't tell. This union group right being very bold. Right First, house, right Missouri. Knight communicating to his men. Little does he realize there's a CSA group coming right up behind him, and they're about to take shots at the Union group on our right. Fortunate for First Missourians to not have been seen by those guys because otherwise they would have been flanked, uh, and that would have been bad for their team. CSA, you do have some guys charging up here. Body, Another body goes flying. Be okay, B. Ragdolls are a great part of this game. I don't know if these guys charged. Uh, that seems like they did, but they didn't. Because there's guys holding back. There's some in the middle. Maybe I just missed something. But coming behind i is 6th and 15th Wisconsin. Let's get into them. Keep the flag safe. This charge is kind of spread out. Uh... I think we missed the first part of this charge. It really looks like Union's going to be able to prevail, especially with getting the flag up, and you can see Confederates falling back on the right side. Back on the right side, however, it looks like Union's regained some of this ground. ANV holding on the left. On our right side, uh, Kelly's Brigade holding by their flags. I don't know if they were pulsed or they fell back. Um, the group that was over there, I think JD probably. Absolutely. It's quite possible that someone got wiped and we missed it. We'll get him next time. Sir. But yeah, close quarters fighting on this right side. You have bus here. You also have Rebel Second Corps, mostly Sixth Louisiana. There, you saw Fifth Virginia. They were moving in from the spawn returning to this area Kelly's brigades making some movements around the outside so they can see this union group over to the northeast you heard him say it a lot second MS second MS is not focused on them um, as of yet can you hear me no. Southwest, guys. Southwest. Oh, now they up. see him. No, and Confederates are the first to go down to engage. Oh, Union oh, is getting oh, very close to that as well. But, I mean, this heck of a job by the Union to force the Confederates to hit engage first. That means they're keeping at pace with the Confederates who have more tickets. But that makes sense for the attackers. Um, we do have Sussy Brigade, part of it, and 15th and 6th. Looks like they're going to be charging straight in here. Shoot him, shoot him. Let's see, what is... And we can see Union have now gone down to engage, not surprising by this charge. It really looks like the Union is going to prevail in this charge. Part of it is the fact that the, the vaulting update, I mean, I don't know why the CSA didn't charge. Um, Straight through here. A couple CSA remnants left, but I think they have guys spawning in. I I shouldn't say anything. Nah, it looks like so USA is gonna hold. There is some CSA remaining, but for the most part, it looks like the USA is held. I'm surprised the CSA didn't try to charge through here. Because, All right, let's nice go. shot. Uh, the vaulting, it takes a while to get over a snake fence like this. Was that? It's probably Hoss here. What a shot. But, regardless of that fact, you see, USA is still ahead. Um, it looks like KB got pushed back at some point or wiped. 
Because we saw KP circling around this way, but now they're no longer there. It's CSA forces are here. JD doing some oh, rising bombs. Oh, oh, scaring the crap out of each other. Because <laughs> they don't have a flag. So, for the most part, USA has held their ground. Second MS is pushing further into the center area here. Looks like they're going to move over and assist A and B, possibly try to get a flank on some Confederates. Um, on this far side, you do have 6LA. Re-shifting. But yeah, it, I mean, it's been a heck of a fight so far. Uh, we're 10 minutes into it. You see 5th VA, they're taking some shots and then running away. Want to avoid taking casualties. You have JD approaching up again. Are they going to be bombing again? You do have some Union on our left. Is this KB? It is KB coming from spawn. What it looks like anyways. Peaks and valleys, boys. Get the peaks and valleys. They're taking some shots. These are harder shots because it might not look like much. But from here, like, these are hard shots. You got to, like, cut the grass here. Um, and him in the head, which those are just hard shots. A and V adjusting because of the CSA push and because second MS arrived. Um, so that flank looks secure for the Union. Uh, this left flank, Sussy Brigade, for the most part, is just reforming with 15th and 6th Wisconsin. They're just trying to reform, get their men back after that failed charge. I don't even know if I would call it a failed charge. It knocked everyone's tickets down. but failed in the sense that they did not take, they did not push the Union off of this snake fence. That is one thing we did forget to look at earlier. Server population, you got 223. Dead even, USA has one more man. But an even fight, and so far it's going pretty good. So we can see this CSA force, Sussy Brigade. They're kind of re-shifting here. Uh, all of Sussy's here now. First Delaware is with them. We can see the 15th, or 6th Wisconsin, uh, following Sussy as well. I do not know where they're going. Maybe they're going to try to hit this left side. You can see Kelly's Brigade moving around this right side again. Um, and the USA, in terms of tickets, has pulled really far ahead. So are they trying to recover a flag? This is a flag. Whose flag is it? This is a USA flag. Look at that. It's all coming together now. So they get the flag. CSA has kind of pulled back. It looks like most of the CSA team is converging um, in this general vicinity here. Get your loads if you don't have them. On, if you keep walking down this road, get you're going to run out of the coast. So you can see CSA well, beginning well, to move well, out well, now. Well, 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 we gotta go, boys! Looks like they're gonna try to charge this flank out. You can see Back Union's up and overing here. They're gonna try to get shots on the CSA that are rocking down the road. Um, they're hitting a couple of their shots. Not all of them, but a couple of them. And we could see uh, who is shifting over to help here. It is part of i -Corps, Walker's division. They're coming on the left side of this uh, white straight fence here to get some shots because you can shoot through it. It's not going to deter Sussy Brigade, though, as they are taking shots into A and V. And we can see i -Corps now getting into this mess. More CSA on the top of your screen engaging with Kelly's Brigade. This is just everywhere there's fighting. CSA is starting to win, though, on this front. Uh, i -Corps is here, but CSA are pushing the Union off. Wait, wait a minute. There's part of Kelly's Brigade. They have arrived. They are here. Close, intense fighting. There's more CSA on the top of your screen uh, dealing with a little union group. It looks like Confederates have gone down to taking losses. He's probably close. And it really looks like Confederates have won in this general area. You do have some union up top here. Um, 
It is Kelly's Brigade. Actually, it's just a mix of Union. And they are going to be retreating as uh, JD and Rebel Second Corps advance. But Union's almost down to taking losses. So Confederates forcing both sides to go down. Union still keeping up with the Confederates, which is an impressive job. Something we have missed, though, more a more recent update, is that um, Anderson's Brigade did not go into this assault, which could contribute very easily to the CSA winning that charge dominantly. Um, but they're going to try to flank the Confederates from behind. You can see more Union moving in from their spawn. These guys that retreated, uh, it's mostly KB there, but those guys that retreated, they pushed back up. They got a, a lone random officer here pushing up. Union going down to taking losses. Anderson's brigade taking their shots, charging in. Little do they realize half the freaking CSA team is here. And these guys are going to get slaughtered, and this will help the CSA take back the lead in terms of tickets. KB is not coming in to assist. But yeah, I mean, Union's still ahead on tickets despite... Every, this is this is crazy. Despite all the charging and bloodshed, um, Union's still in the lead of tickets, which is honestly impressive to this point with how many uh, combats there's been. So, you can see JD and 5th VA forming up on this snake fence here. Um, in terms of the Union... Where are we all going? Uh, you do have Union coming out of spawn. Looks like some of them are going to return up to that snake fence. You have a decent amount in this center house here. Uh, this group we saw in the back area here. Second MS and KB are moving towards the ANV who's in the middle. ANV moving up to this little white fence, taking shots at the CSA force on the snake fence. More CSA forming up onto their left. Rebel Second Corps taking shots here. At the A and V, A and V is heavily outnumbered here. Um, they do have their friendlies off to the right, though. Uh, KB, who are now taking shots. Some Confederates are moving in to try to charge them. I don't know, um, but they get wiped before they even get there. So Confederates have a firm hold on this left side. Have taken ground. Um, still a little behind on tickets. You see Fifth NC moving on the other side of the map, on the right side, though. And we can see uh, Anderson's brigade, some of Walker's division, but it looks like mostly uh, Anderson's brigade uh, is back to their original position on the snake fence on the left side. Engaging 5th North Carolina. They outnumber them by a lot. So as of now, we've kind of gone back to a stalemate. We're almost 20 minutes into the match. Almost halfway. And the USA is still keeping this lead, which is very impressive. Uh, second MS and KV are moving out to this right side to try to get some better shots here on the CSA. They will be able to somewhat have better shots. They're taking some hits as well, both sides going back and forth. We have Star here on top of the, top of the fence. He's really a star up there. On the other hand, we have 6LA uh, yep, moving in. They just got decimated. It looks oh, like shit. they kind of charged out a smaller Union force to try to get around the A and V forces around this house. It looks like they're just trying to encircle them, and they're kind of doing that to success as of now. I mean, Union just has to keep doing what they're doing. That's that's how they win this game. I mean, CSA has just got to find some way to force the Union to lose more tickets. But Union is adapting the strategy. Well, I mean, this is still a pretty close match. It's anyone's game. Union can hit breaking. Confederates are moving closer and closer to point. They can't, did come up here. They are in this house right outside of point. Um, and they could very easily um,
half the point once Union hits breaking, and that's why the Confederates are all moving towards this vicinity. That there's this is the point of contention, this general area on the street. So Confederates doing a good job. Union still ahead on tickets though. So it's a it's a matter of who is positioned when one team hits breaking, and that's what makes the update. Um, for revealing how many tickets your team has, so pivotal. It's it's game changing. Uh, instead of guessing now when you're gonna hit a breaking, you gotta you you can you can figure it out pretty easily. Six Wisconsin shifting across the street to get some shots behind Icor. Um, looks like they hit a couple there. Um, we can see. A B right, right. this is Walker's division. Hey, all y'all stay on the right, fence. Looks like they're a little spread out. Mostly I core. It looks like they're a little spread out here. I don't know where they're trying to go or what they're trying to do. Looks like some are still trying to hold the original snake fence while others are just trying to deal with six Wisconsin. That have come behind their tails. Um Kelly's brigade is moving very close up. They have the cover of this uh white fence here nice volley there they were blind shooting there and got two three kills on this right side though it uh, looks like second ms and kb have pushed forward csa has moved towards the point uh, i mean csa is essentially surrounding the point as of now we do see some union troops in the house Wait, is there stairs to get up to the top here? Huh? What are these? Oh, they probably spawned in with the flag. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. This will be fascinating. Here we go. We have Opossum yeah, here. Left, oh my god, that sure is a lot of fun. I know, right? Takes his shots and he'll get away. I don't know if he hit it. Maybe he hit one or two people, but. You can see a Union group on the far right side. They're starting to move around. There's so many people in a tiny area. Both sides very close to breaking. Confederates are going to hit it at any moment. Union will probably hit it in the next two minutes. Um, wouldn't be surprised anyways. So we have 1st Missouri to our left, 2nd MS in the middle, and then A and V on the far right. Uh, Confederates hit breaking first Delaware up front So unions kind of spread out here Confederates kind of in the middle of this map um, So this is very interesting I, I'm not Confederates should start pre-capping. I've seen less pre-capping with uh, since this update than before the update which I find fascinating Union hit breaking uh, now Union's charging. Uh, A and V bus telling his men to go to point, but right as he does, he gets killed as A and V comes in and slaughters them. CSA is capping the point. Uh, I Corps is charging in, but there's just so many CSA on this point. Uh, is there even enough time for the Union to respond? Nope. Those Confederate forces kind of slowed down the Union. Vaulting is going to take 10 years, and. With that all being said, that looks like the end of our first round. Yeah, heck of a job by the Confederates. Uh, and Union's down more tickets. I'll be intrigued to see casualties. Oh, sorry, I had to cough, but yeah. That was an exciting round of Washington Street. I haven't seen a match where the fighting is so spread out on that map. Um, and it was a great match to watch. USA did a heck of a job staying ahead most of the game ticket-wise. Uh, up until the very end, of course, but they did a heck of a job staying ahead. Uh, and then Confederates, they just did what they needed to do. They stayed aggressive. They forced the Union down to breaking. Uh, they put themselves in a position where they could just cap and win and not have to worry about anything else. Um, so yeah, it was a good match by everyone. Uh, just CSA, smarter timing and placement there once Union hit breaking. But yeah, excited to see the second round, the sides flip.
which is great. So with that being said, we'll see you in the second round. All right, here we are with the second round. This is going to be fascinating. I haven't seen Conquest in a hot minute. Um, but, yeah, we have the USA and CSA gunning it for this one position that really is one of the only ways to get up there. But, yeah, there's a lot of fighting happening in the middle here. But holy crap, this is intense. Maybe this is contention. But, yeah, heck of a fight going on over this little position here. What the heck? CSA starting to go around the longer way uh, as their friendlies are holding them off. They're slowly dying. Union just trying to get up this flank here. And Union will finally break out of it. CSA starting to go up this way, though. And they're continuing to go down a far ways away. So we can see Union starting to send a flag over to the A point to take it. And it looks like they're starting to take it. What's interesting, though, is I thought this was Conquest. And then I'm seeing these flagpoles. And I'm a little confused. So I don't know. Time will tell. Wait, is there even a... No, there's nothing there. It's just a marker there. By <laughs> okay, fascinating. So it looks like teams were just trying to gun up uh, to this hill to try to go to these far contention point because the far contention point is very hard. Uh, so this is the true B point, oh. as we can see, obviously. And then the true C point, I think it's there. Where is the true C point? So, USA successfully gets the A point. Here is the C point, the true C point. So, that is just, I don't know what's up there, but, yeah. So, the Union capture the A point first. For those of you who don't know how Conquest works, uh, there's three points of contention. They all act as one point, though. So, if you have more points capped, you'll start dealing ticket loss to the other team. Both teams start off with the same amount of tickets. Um, so right now the Union's dealing ticket damage to the Confederates because they have that point captured. Um, and it'll be interesting to see uh, Conquest with this new bar uh, for tickets because um, we can see how many tickets each team has. But the Union is charging for this B point. They prevented it from getting capped. They prevented it from getting capped at least temporarily. With both sides fighting over it. Are they going to try to raise it? Are they going to try to finish it? Oh, someone's got to pick up that flag, though. I'm not loaded. Fuck you. But at least over this B point, it looks like the Union is going to prevent... Oh, oh. Is he going to raise it first, VA? Fuck this. No, he gets shot. So it looks like the Union's going to stop this cap. How? Huh. Yeah, they stopped the cap. Crazy to see. So, a lot of Union spread around here. Again, the sides did switch. Um, so, that's just... Yeah, so, that's is that. But, wow. CSA does have complete control of this downward area. The Union is kind of trapped in their spawn. Uh, so, Confederates in time... Should hopefully win up here, but the Union does have a lot of men up here. They have flags too, so they can respawn. And oh, this no, point me. is going to be capped right. by the Union. Another thing about Conquest is if all three control points are captured by one team, a counterattack phase happens, and the other team has three minutes to lower and raise one of their own flags. So that's something exciting. Over here, we do see First Delaware. They're holding near point, trying to get near there. Uh, as second and Mass just taking shots at First Delaware. First Delaware just peeking around that corner. You see 6LA, part of 5th VA, on this side of the house, engaging with i -Core. Um You do see some KV. That looks like more respawns, though, as Rebel Second Corps tries to break the siege. Union capping two out of three points now. Come on, we need more dudes. Uh, behind this Confederate stairs. force, though, is KB. 
Uh, it looks like mostly the 10th Tennessee, but Union pretty much got wiped trying to push up that fence way. And we can see the Confederates are almost down to engaged. Um, on the other hand, though, we have i -Corps, uh, and the rest of Kelly's brigade, 1st Missouri, they're pushing up to this B point where we can see uh, the rest of Rebel 2nd Corps and JD and 5th NC are trying to hold off this point. Because if they can hold this and their friendlies cap that C point all in the distance, uh, they can win this game here and now and it'd be a very quick map of conquest. I honestly wonder if those other markers are showing up because of the new contention game mode, but I don't know. Or, you know, you can see, I think this is first Missouri, most likely. They are skirmishers here, but Confederates are about to hit engage, and they won't be able to cap this point. You could hear it. They're at engaged. Um, Confederates need to push to one of these two points very soon. First Delaware needs to hold on to this point for near life. Uh, Confederates are kind of stalemated down there. They're sending their men up here towards the B point, and they can't breach. There's so many Union here, uh, and they're about to cap the C point. This is going to be really fast. Because once they cap, CSA has three minutes. And the counterattack begins. Three minutes for the CSA to take one of these points. What the heck? <laughs> What a game of conquest that this is. So, trying to move up on the right flank of the B point, we have Puffin here uh, with the A and V. There's no Confederates, so C is secure. This B point, I think, is going to be the point of contention here. Two and a half minutes remaining. It takes about a minute to lower and raise a flag, too. So, you, you have no time. How is the fight over A going? Um, Confederates are charging this out. Uh, this honestly might look like their best chance. Union just needs to get in there and prevent the decap and recap at this point. Um, and they're going to start taking that down. So these Union guys, if they can, they should try to get over here and prevent this from happening. Um, not like it matters though. Union is ahead by half a stage, um, which is incredible. You can see more charging occurring over this point of contention. Um, it's very close. CS, more and more CSA are pouring in. Uh, the Union guys from C are now over here. Uh, A has been neutralized. Uh, Union hitting engage. That counterattack still going, though. So this point looks like it's pretty much a stalemate. Confederates are capping. There's not a lot of Union over at this A point. So, that is a tiny flag. That is a really tiny flag. But, um, I don't know. Confederates hold A. That's huge. They can trap the Union in their spawn. Uh, this could turn very easily to the Confederate side. Um, so, Confederates take A. Normal clock continues. However, they're at taking losses. If the Confederates can wipe this Union group up here, they could win the game uh, very easily. It wouldn't surprise me whatsoever probably was, it caught me so off guard at the beginning of this round holy crap so it looks like really just chaos happening in harper's ferry everyone's spread out first del i mean union respawns are just slowly getting to the spot somewhere but, crap, man. CSA is going to hit taking losses here. CSA, I think, only shot at winning this. I don't know. I mean, Union still controls two points. They're still dealing ticket loss to the CSA, which is huge in its own right. There is no CSA up here trying to contest this point. The whole CSA team is down here, um, which is crazy to see. If the, I mean, I it'd be shocking to see the Confederate team come back and win this game it really would uh, we can see confederates starting to move up that way towards B uh, it's A and V actually A and V is just holding out here so I mean yeah I mean CSA does have control of this map they they just need to push the guys out of B um, 
A is the big point on this map. If you have A, you have a good shot at winning this game, and we've seen that Union winning the game, but Confederates have a chance to turn it around. Will they? I don't know. Fight occurring between Rebel 2nd Corps and 2nd MS. Damn it, Star, it's all your fault. <laughs> you not go through there, Coast. Get out of the way. Please Star, protect me. So, yeah, I mean, it, there's more of a stalemate happening over here. Uh, Confederates starting to push up towards uh, the B point. You do have a couple of Confederates holding here, A and V. Not a lot, though. So, the Union does have an opportunity here to breach forward, but the whole Confederate team is moving towards the B point. They want to take it. Uh, KB, WD, and AB, I Corps is here. They are pushing. Can you say again? I thought we were going to lose this, dog. What happened? No, I mean, we're good. We're good. Got no one left on the flag. I said we were going to be attacking. Is that them on the left? That's Man, them on the left. Is that Rev on the left? Who's flying? Is that us? Alright, right, right here. Let them get close. Let them get close. Let them get close. Move. Here they come. They're charging in. Not a lot of Union here. Confederates hitting from multiple different Brace. angles. Again, if the Confederates could take this, which... That's, it's going to be close. I mean, not all CSAs charging in. This gives the United States an opportunity to kind of hold. I mean, a decent amount of CSA are holding back. More CSA stragglers coming back. It's kind of tight. I mean, both sides have their flags. They're respawning men. It really does look like Union has more men. Um fighting as of now and it looks like the confederate assault was thwarted despite the best beliefs of some honestly i thought the csa was going to run right through but they did not a and v holding that stone wall second ms still on this left side um, with va engaging on the other side here, we have 6 Wisconsin and Rebel 2nd Corps. They're going to try to breach this position. Uh, it looks like they're going to have success at the beginning. More A and B coming in from their side. And it looks like Union has breached through this position, at least this forward group. Is there more fighting occurring up here? We do see some Confederate markers here. Um, it looks like they're just... Running up, doing some independent shots here at the Union that is up here. There's a couple of Union. There's a decent amount to still put up resistance. Confederate's about to hit breaking, though. Um, whereas the Union is about 40% left on engaged, and Union is getting more troops up into this top area because the Confederate line broke. They have, I mean, Confederates have a lot of guys here. Um, but Union, that passageway is wide open for them to run up. You can see it's more Confederates moving up here. It looks like 10th Tennessee from Kelly's Brigade. They're moving towards this upper portion of the battlefield. And we can see Confederates have started to push. 4B, they're pushing closer. Pretty even numbers here. Every shot matters. Caution friendly Rambos. And Confederates have hit breaking. Um, All right, y'all, prepare to charge, prepare to charge, prepare to charge. You can see your MJ. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And they are going to be charging now into the Union. They have started this decap. They don't put their both those guys. The red dog just muted itself. They didn't have time. Let's go, WD. Kind of a close action, CSA gaining ground still. There's still a decent amount of Union guys holding over here. 
Turn around on your left, Back boys. And the Confederates are just Turn holding around, around the, right, the flag. Boys. This is something I don't like seeing. So B has been neutralized. Right, so Union's going to hit and uh, taking losses here in a minute. This is something I don't like. I wish people didn't do that. This is just a preference. The Union guys that broke through are now arriving um, on this top area. But it looks like Confederates are going to be able to take control of this point. And finally start doing some flag damage to Union. Is it too late though? Time will tell. How many Union do we have over here? Um, so we have a, we have a decent amount. It's a mix of regiments that are here. Um, the Confederates should send a couple guys over here to try to hold C. And Union actually um, does have a couple guys over here holding C. Uh, who is it? It is some 5th NC guys. It looks like they're sharpshooters. Probably sharpshooters. Um, they're holding at C, though. So they're the last hope for the Union. Confederates need to go cap that point. You can see how much tickets the Confederates have already lost. It's It's been a crazy amount. More Confederates going up top of the hill. A and V moving in to assist their friendlies. So that is a big thing with this map. You can see A and B oh, starting stop, to deal boys. shots here with the it. Union. <laughs> and now they are charging Keep moving down. the CSA position. Or the USA position, sorry. Both yeah, sides are charging at the same time, I assume. Yep, they are. They're going to try to wipe the Union out. If they wipe this out, they could go to C and win the game. Fuck you. Bodies flying. Oh, Ragdolls going Boy. everywhere. Boy. You did tonight. It's kind of close. I mean, if the rest of the CSA charge in, they will win this uh, charge pretty decisively. Um, that doesn't even matter. CSA have won on top of this hill. That's very huge. They need to cap that third point. As soon as possible, let's check back on this side of the battlefield. We do have uh, First Missouri. We got some nice shots over the Union spawn. We do have a Union force beginning to move in to A. It is First Delaware. Actually, it's really just a mix of a lot of regiments here. Uh, defending this point is Second Mississippi. So the big thing is the Confederates. They gotta move it, move it to that point. Um, Union kind of got wiped, and Confederates in mass are heading this way. They're not leaving a lot to defend B, which I find fascinating. Um, but, I mean, they did just wipe most of the Union team. The Confederates from their spawn need to prevent the Union from capping a point. Union needs to go to A right now. I don't know if they will have time to get up to B, uh -oh. but this is important over here now. Where will these Union guys go? That is my question. I would think A, and they're starting to move that way. So this A point has been traded so many times, uh, this match. It's been traded a lot. Confederates halfway to breaking. Second MS just needs to hold on as long as they can. Reform fifth, reform, reform. So, with that being let's said, go, so Confederates go. are starting to deal a decent amount of ticket damage that won't last for long, though. Um, as the Union uh, is decapping and recapping B. So, but yeah, I mean, Union is still has a sizable lead over the Confederates. I, it's going to be hard for the Confederates to come back and win this. Um, so A has been decapped, so we won't be able to see a 3-0 favor to the Confederates in terms of flags. Uh, how, how close are they to cap? Okay, they're capping. That's got to be close. I've been here for a hot minute. And so Confederates finally do cap that C point. Um, 
so they are dealing a decent amount to the Union. 2-0 to o right now. That's going to be 1-0. to zero. They're going to deal one flag damage to the CSA um, very shortly. We, so Union caps A. Uh, we could see the Confederate respawn getting destroyed here uh, by the 6LA. I mean, they're getting destroyed. Well, meanwhile, the rest of the Union team is going to be... In terms of the Confederate position, they're starting to reform on D. They're all coming back. Uh, they're all forming up. If you had multiple cameras, you could have a cinematic view of the Union and CSA approaching this position. So this is big. Um, Union just needs to force the CSA down the last stand. They're getting close to that right now. Flags can't help them anymore, so the Union needs to force the CSA in a decisive charge down to last stand. Uh, and then the CSA, they just need to wait this out. CSA has to avoid casualties. Um, and Union hits breaking. So Confederates are catching up very slowly, but surely we have Knight here and Zoo. Uh, Zoo is running right past. You can see Zoo's view here. He doesn't shoot. Wow. Fascinating. So, Union's beginning to move up. They're trying to push up. KB there, though, is on the left. Really? If this pushed CSA in the last stand, that'd be terrible. But Union just sweeps through. Or KB, for that matter. Stop it. A lot of Confederates shooting these Rambos, uh, and the rest of the Union is going to be able to get in there with shots. There's a charge happening on this front. Um, no, it is not. So, Confederates kind of close. The Union's going to be able to deal some damage here to the Confederates, uh, as they still got a sizable force coming in. Not a whole lot left. Press T, press T, boys, press T. Ooh, that was a double kill. That was a double kill. Oh, come on. So more Union trickling in. Confederates so very close to last stand. Union about halfway to last stand. Confederates catching up very quickly. Confederates just need to avoid taking casualties and out of lines. Um, I mean, I guess this man's getting oh, a I ticket trades, but still, it's making it very, very tight. Uh, let's quickly check what's happening over near the A point. Uh, there's still some fighting happening. Confederates are going up the hill. Um, Union's charging in. The respawn's getting there. A is left uncontested. Confederates aren't even trying to take A at this point. Uh... Wow, this is such a close match. Confederates have really brought the game back to their favor. But however, they're so close. When will they hit last stand? I mean, seriously, Union just needs to knock a couple more CSA guys out, and they go in the last stand. And you can see this might happen right here. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Kill these dumbass fucking pricks. And there it is. So Confederates at last stand. Union is about 35 to 40 percent um, of the way there. So Confederates, their tickets don't really matter anymore. Union, they do. C has been neutralized um, by somebody. Yeah, I think that fifth North Carolina group we saw earlier. Or actually, this might be a different force. Uh, it is fifth VA. They have came over and taken the C point to prove that's actually very huge um, because now Union isn't losing any tickets to flags um, which is something the CSA needed because now the CSA need to have an engagement with the Union um, to force them down the last stand uh, we can see these KB soldiers here they're getting charged out by 5th NC and they're going to get wiped there Keep pushing them, boys. Send them back to Washington. So all these Rambo's, they're just keep you pushing gotta force to the, the stairs, union down. gentlemen. To the <laughs> nice team kill. Thank you, Richard. <laughs> and there he goes. This is so close. I mean, Confederates just need to hold this Harper's graveyard. They they gotta let the union come to them. 
Uh, we can see A and V charging up here. They're being aggressive, uh, going after 6LA. When will the Union hit last stand? That is the big thing. Smile. Suka it. Suka. Suka. Yeah, Union beginning to push towards the Confederate line here. I mean, this was big. This was big. When will the Union hit last stand in this charge? That is the question. The fact that 5th VA took that flag down is so huge because I think the Union would be in last stand right now if, uh, if they didn't do that. And here comes the Union. Reload, go to the front down, boys. And Union hits last stand. So everyone that dies in the match will die. Both sides very close here. Uh, kind of unfortunate timing. Most fortunate for the Union. I mean, there's. I mean, this match is. It, it looks like it's pretty much done. Yeah, these are the last stragglers for the Confederacy on D. What a valiant effort, though, to come back the way they did, the way they started, and to come back the way they did. Um, it should be applauded. Um, however, heck of a job by the Union um, for putting themselves in a position to where even if this did happen, they could still win the game. Uh, a great match by both sides. It's just Union... Took the advantage first and one. Last remaining Confederates here getting shot. But yeah. Hi, bro. Go. Get your reloads, huh, bud? Get your reloads, boys. Get your reloads. The rest of the Union's making their way up here. You have six Wisconsin. Um, it's just a mix of everyone. That's just the first tag I saw. But. Crap, man. Well, the last few remaining. See, Union's just kind of forming up. They're taking the left, shots here. Left, left. JD, stand the right. JD, stand the right if you can. Hey, I got hey, low. Let's this out left. real quick. We don't have the mines. Boys. They're low on the really We don't have out. the mines. Uh, hold, hold on, let's, let's get everybody um, Yeah, we do. They only got yeah, like yeah. 10 guys over there. Do you know that for certain? Hey, where you boys at? We're going to charge right. Get it over with, guys. Come on. All right. Like five hey, Revix. You want to charge this out right side? Hey, uh, yeah, we'll yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys yep, yep. Go let's get right. it done. Let's go. Hey, Sussy, charge left. Sussy Brigade, charge left. We'll go from the left. We'll go from the left. Sussy Brigade, charge left. They are charging. It's really funny. They don't really, they really don't know how many men they're charging. Um, oh, no, you don't. Oh, and so no. they're trying to coordinate this. It's, it's kind of funny to watch, uh, but I understand why they're doing the it, right? So Sussex Brigade's no, no, charging no. down the left. Uh, first Delaware is the first in here, though. Fuck you, big fuck these nerds. Get ready, boys. Love you, boys. As the last no, few Confederates so try to hold the line here. Yeah. And that is the end of this game. What the heck is that map? Uh, that was a good... Look at that. I love... That'd be funny if there was just a blank map. It's just completely flat. That would be kind of funny for a minute. But anyways, fun match. Fun two rounds to watch tonight. Um, I didn't realize it was Conquest until the round started, seeing as I was a little shocked. But, yeah, with that being said, here we go with our post-game interview. Holy crap, that's a lot of casualties. <laughs> here we are with the post-game interview for tonight's Maryland campaign event. The first map was on Washington Street, and it was a very good fight. USA was staying ahead in tickets compared to the CSA, but the CSA prevailed in the end. We had the side switch, and then the CSA was playing the USA on Conquest, and the USA team won that despite an almost epic comeback from the CSA team. So with that being said, we have leaders and people from regiments to talk about strategy and more. 
So let's go with the CUSA team on round one and the CSA team on round two. Yeah, Smoky uh, Greenleaf, other be known to, uh, to other people. Uh, but yeah, second MS. Um, holla, holla. Next we have Walsey. Hey, it's going on, fellas? How's it going on, Well, And then we have Killer. He's not oh, there. I, I'm, oh, yeah, no. I, uh, yeah, Killer. The uh, command officer of the 10th Alabama. And fucking. The yeah, thank you. Pussy ass fucking sad boy. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Speaking of that, on to our CSA round one and our USA in round two. First, we have Froze. Hello, I am uh, First Sergeant Froze, 6 Wisconsin. Let's go, Cheese. And we have Zoo. What's up? Well, I did not send the China balloon. <laughs> and then we have Archer. Because he's Chinese. Yeah, Second Corps, 6 LA, Charlie Company, Captain Archer. Then we have Zapsar. First Maryland, Maryland Captain Zapsar, Officer Commander. Good to see you. First we Maryland. Remix. Jackson's division, uh, leading first met. Bus? Oh, oh, shit. Oh, let me explain Zoo's joke. So, Zoo said he doesn't, <laughs> he's not, he didn't send a Chinese balloon because he himself is Chinese. So based. That, that's boss to the first time. And, and God bless it be to Hans, by the way. And that's the second thing I have to say. I haven't, we haven't prayed to him in a while, so I have to say something. Thank you. And we have Fear. That fear the fight in Fifth Virginia, and then we have Doug. What's up, guys? Captain Doug of the Fifth NC. So let's go to our first round on Washington Street. CSA was attacking, so we'll start with you guys. What was your guys' strategy going into the round, and how did you guys react to the ever changing battlefield? All right, so I believe that I will take this uh, upon ourselves to explain. So first. I, we will we'll edit this in. We'll edit this in for for Battleline Network. Uh, we drew a picture of Ninja uh, on Snapchat, uh, and it was a it was an interpretive artistic picture. Uh, and then after that, perhaps, we said, perhaps autistic picture. Yeah, and then well, then we said we're gonna like push up this left side. So we sent Sussy and Second Corps, or not Sussy, sorry, just Delaware, Maryland, and Second Corps up the left, and we just kept getting mollywop there, but. The right side was for uh, Doug and whoever else was there. Um, and then we adapted from there by just ignoring everything on the right and just focusing mainly on the center and the left. Uh, and then basically we thought, well, I thought, I knew, well, I felt that we were going to lose the entire time um, up to that point because we were getting mollywopped, rightfully so, because there were many points where we sucked. Um, but the... Uh, the uh, ticket gods were with us and we, um, because we know how to play the game, decided, you know, we're going to stay near the point and decided to cap the point as soon as they hit breaking because um, cause we're good at the game and that's just, we're good and they're bad and that's <laughs> that's Come just on, simple boss. as. <laughs> to simple as. <laughs> to uh, piggyback off of what Boss said, you know, there was plenty of times throughout that entire first map where I'm thinking, man, we're just getting swacked left and right. You know, there's no possibility of victory here. That's what I'm thinking internally. Of course, externally, I'm projecting confidence to everyone around me. The best that we can, right? But there wasn't a point that I felt that victory was attainable for us. And I thought we were losing hard. And there's actually a point where in, in the Discord, I'm, I'm talking with my lads. And I'm like, if anything, this will be a Pyrrhic victory. And that really is how I look at that map and how it ended up actually going. It, it was a map that uh, we won due to the ticket imbalance on that map, not due to our performance in the field. And I feel our opponents did an excellent job. Have you ever won the auto balance uh, room two map, and it gives you the you know the auto balance like the you know like I'll stop talking. I forgot what I was going to say. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'd say about the same thing there at the beginning. It was pretty much. A coins toss but as it went on we were starting to think that it might be a loss for us but i think it, it really came down towards like the end there with like that final like attack from either side which kind of really decided it I, I, I knew we were gonna win the whole time so it's all good <laughs> you kept faith, 
that's in division on uh, CSA. We actually thought we were going to win the whole time. We're doing good. We got flanks in. Uh, opponents, opponents were charging us out. Doing, they were fucking getting us out of the woods, too. We were both doing good. So, yeah. That's the vision. Good job. I think, you know, speaking from the, the CSA attacking perspective, we were really expecting a much more conservative mindset. So when we first ran into, like, first contact was over in the, the tents, and it seemed the tents just was just a killing ground for pretty much the whole match. A lot of movement going on over there. So it's kind of tough to keep up with that. And then the, the attention shifted more to center. And uh, I, I thought tickets were competitive for most of the way, you know, granted with the attackers having more tickets. Um, but uh, I think a lot of the tipping points were some of those charges, catching smaller units off uh, on their own. Uh, especially in those 10 areas. I remember at least three charges that, that uh, 6LA was part of and just catching people um, out of line, skirmishing, uh, catching them running away. And that, I think, was helping tip the balance. Yeah, good good job, 6LA. We are with you in the 10. All right. So let's go to the USA side now. What was your guys' strategy to defend the Washington Street, and how did you guys react to the ever-changing battlefield? No oh, goody. Well, I'll have you know that uh, I, I was on the, the, the right side by the tents the, pretty much the whole game. Um, I was that unit that uh, basically ran into second core in the tents right at the beginning. That was a very scary moment. Um, I did touch cough a little bit. Um, but yeah, we just kind of just kept fighting and didn't really, we tried not to lose too much ground and we did start, you know, after we lost that right side a little bit, we took it back eventually, but then it was just too late because we were too far away from the point, but all in all, the first map was good. First map was, it was a good map. We had fun. Yeah, he, he. is there no uh, first core guys here that was there? Doing Goon dogs in the audience. He Good is. I I messaged him and right before he joined, he said I can't tonight. Or that was yeah. Well, that just leaves us then, right? Correct. All right, Wazzy, you want to kick it off, dude? Yeah, man. My lame ass introduction. Second lieutenant Wolsey of the second Mississippi. Uh, proud, basically co-owner of the Seven Pines. Uh, of Mississippi, it was skirmish and unit. Um, uh, I'm rather defensive, and it's been a long time since I've actually played any type of event. Um, so my defensive mindset probably wasn't right for this, if that makes sense. This particular event today, um, so my, that combined with my inexperience might have showed a bit on the battlefield. So my apologies to that to the fellow officers. Um. Yeah, first I thought I, sh I could um, choke them off as they was coming down the road a little bit. But then they saw our skirmishing unit and they must have thought, nah, and then doubled back on themselves and carried on going through the tent so we couldn't get them. So that meant that we had to jolly well move on, you know. <laughs> um, after that, we just fought a massive defensive one between the houses. Um, we got overrun a couple of times. Um, it was quite hard to deal with. Um, Smokey, you got anything to say, bud? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, with Wazzy and, and what we put him in tonight, uh, obviously, Maryland campaign, we don't uh, do the uh, Steam chat or nothing like that. So it's it's kind of calm or cool and collected. Um, he, he volunteered for it, especially that first match, I guess, uh, in the campaign that we don't have a token in. Uh, it, it was kind of like a it doesn't really matter kind of map, uh, but we're out there trying to win anyway. Um, so he volunteered for that one. Um, he actually got us in a couple of really good positions. We had a really a couple of really good firing solutions. I remember about a quarter way through the first match that he was leading. Um, he had moved us off that that high north road up there where the Union um, and the White House and shit like that is where uh, obviously Killer and A and V were uh, shooting down at the top of the road. But he had moved us towards the point, um, and there was a CSA regiment behind uh, the White House towards our flank, our uh, back right flank, and we had perfect shooting solutions on whoever that was, but I know we were shooting you guys. Um, 
we were watching you through the bushes, a little bit of bushes and the fence that there was. We were watching you guys drop left and right, and then your flag fell back to the next White House, and it's like, boys, look at them, and they just kept going back to point, and it was a, it was a glorious moment for us. It was a glorious moment for Walsey. Um, keep that one in the back of your head, Walsey. Uh, that that was a solid, solid move you did there. Um, inexperienced at first, but it it, it worked out for the best. Um, there's always a whole lot, buddy. There's always yeah. a whole lot. Cheers, cheers yep. for noticing that, bud. And, and cheers, cheers everybody else. Um, uh, we fought well as Union. Granted, we're CSA, uh, but we fought well. Uh, as as for the battle plan, I I think most of it kind of worked out very well. Uh, we were just caught at that game mechanic at the end, like everybody says. Um, that's just the way it happens sometimes. Um, got to be more preemptive. I think that was Bus you talking about that. So GG on on your guys' part getting that one in. Uh, second mm. match I had led. Um. I really don't know what went down. Uh, Eagle, are we we talking about the second one here, uh, or I we want to wait and go? We can just transition to into it because you guys finished your guys' side, so we'll go okay. No, no, I, I want to hear everybody else. So go ahead. No, that was it. That should be it. We'll talk about yeah, the second G- round. GG guys, yeah, second round. Yeah. G-G. So let's move into the second round now. So the sides flipped. So the USA, CSA, CSA is USA. So we'll just continue where we were in a moment ago. Um, so CSA, what was your strategy going into the round and how did you guys react to the average change of battlefield? So Smokey, if you want to continue where you left off. Oh, God damn it. I asked to go last, but okay. Um, so on that one, uh, we had a really good strategy pinned out at the beginning. I'm not a real big conquest guy. I don't know the maps very well. Um, however, I do know the skirmish maps very well. So I knew where I was. I knew kind of what was going on, but without the, the communication and having a, a chat, a CC chat. Um, I, I was kind of lost down there, and I was I was down there trying to defend the main spawn. Um, there had been a couple questions that I had asked: Can we do this? Can we do that? Um, somehow the union was able to make it up the stairs without my knowledge. Um, I know I had some guys watching chat uh, for myself, myself kind of included. I'm, I don't really pay attention to chat. Sorry, guys. Uh, being a puppy guy, fuck it. I'm not paying attention to that bullshit. And then I normally have CC to, to lead. So um, somewhere along the lines, um, it was just uh, opportune to take A. Uh, I had thought for some reason um, that the Union spawn was backed by Harper's Ferry River Crossing uh, kind of map uh, where the railroad tracks come across. I thought that was Union spawn. Not realizing it's actually downtown Union spawn on skirmishing map down the road to my right. Uh, if you guys knew where I was, I was behind the, the two houses there. Um, kind of more pushed up. But anyway, we, we took point A um, after I realized what the fuck was going on at the top of the hill. Um, I was, it was time to take A. That was actually for me this nuts call. Um, we did it. We went over there. We got behind. Uh, started shooting down in the alleys and shit like that. But we basically just were trying to hold that bottom road section um, and push up and kind of, once I realized where the Union spawn was, um, was too late in the game. But we did take that there at the uh, towards the end. Um, we kind of held that off, but uh, not paying attention to the ticket imbalance. I thought we actually caught back up um, at one point. Uh, we did have two and almost three of the flags. Um, but it was just unfortunate circumstances on my part, not knowing inexperience on the maps. Um, maybe there was a breakdown, less communication. I don't know. Not really familiar with it. Like I said, uh, I'm used to CC and stuff like that. But uh, maybe you guys can enlighten me there. But I think we did good. I think we stuck it to the union, especially second MS. Um, but what you guys did at the top of the hill, obviously, um, it was it was a bloodbath all around. So GG to all of us, union included. Halsey or Killer, anything to add to that? Uh, yeah. No, go on, Walsey, you got it. Cheers, buddy. Um, I just thought, yeah, I'm just just to back up what my fella said there. Um, yeah, I thought, um, if you saw it in the highlights, if anyone's watching the highlights, like I thought, we actually did hold that corner pretty well in the in the middle of the road on the second match. Um, <laughs> that's pretty much all I've got to say. <laughs> I just thought I just thought uh, second and best as a whole, we did well holding today. Uh, very defensive. Yeah, at one point we had the we had both flags and it was prevalent to hold down the hill. 
Um, I don't think at one point I ordered second MS to go totally up the stairs, uh, other than halfway. Uh, when we were down holding the road, when I thought the, the CSA still had the staircase, I'm looking in my by notes to the two houses. Um, and I seen people at the middle of the staircase right there at that middle road on high street. And I'm like, okay, yeah, we still got this. And next thing I know, they're capturing a flag up top and I'm like, what the fuck's going on? So, but yeah, that uh, was fun. Killer. Uh, um, yeah, the second map was, uh, it's conquest, so it does require a bit more, you know, communication and not having Steam chat and stuff, um, it can always be a bit of a, a burden, especially when it's a map like that and it's got streets and all that sort of stuff, so it can be a bit more of a, you, you need a bit more communication on it, but I think other than some communication problems, you know, with not using Steam chat and stuff, uh, it was all in all a good a good fight. We kind of lost it in the middle, and then we we almost brought it back a bit in the end. But it was just uh, about five minutes too late, capping those two points. But yeah, other than that, it was it was okay. All right, thank you. Let's move on to the USA side. What was your guys' strategy going into the round, and how did you guys react to the ever changing battlefield? Yeah, so our strategy was to <laughs> lose uh quite literally um our strat was uh we're probably fucked so we're gonna go for it i was honestly so confused why a wasn't captured way faster than it was because we obviously capped it first and held it for quite a while um same thing with the uh with the b point and c point um just a little bit like it, it felt like i was like this is surreal to me that we're able to get all these points so we got all these points I'm sitting there and I'm like, I'm waiting for this group that's sitting right by A. I don't know who it was. I was sitting right by A to charge me out for so long. But we were just able to peek out, shoot, come back, and still getting slaughtered nonetheless. We, we, thought, we, were, we thought we there was nine. way more of you back nope, there. Nope, there was like yep. 12 of us. Yep. <laughs> there was like 12 of us. Once we figured it out, we <laughs> charged. Yep, yeah. once we figured it out. <laughs> I kept going out and ramboing like I normally do with my pistol and kept getting shot. Um, but the plan was just sort of trying to hold as long as we can. Doug was crying for help the whole time, like a little baby. He was like, come up to the graveyard. I'm proud of you. That come graveyard, graveyard was a hard fight, mate. It was a, it hard, was a fight. hard fight. Yeah. But listen, man, I wasn't there, so it wasn't hard to me. So, um, <laughs> yeah. you guys, that's your fault for doing that. Um, and I but they held it, didn't they? Yeah, well, I we knew that the game was still maybe probably going to be lost even when they hit breaking because they sort of taken back all those points. So I was like, well, fuck me. Plus, um, how many guys did you have back there on A? On A, like 12 or 13. Jesus I had 13. Jesus Christ, I'm yeah. sitting with 25 like fucking guys. Like, oh my yeah. God, there's fucking yeah. 60 on back there. Yeah, well, we were really scared um, of you guys over there on that fence. And I was like, oh, shit. Because I kept hurt hearing you guys talk. And I was like, Doug kept calling for help, and I was like, there's people, like, right by A. I'm not just going to leave A. And then we decided just to stay, and then you guys killed us anyways. But, like, it didn't it, – it, 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 it scared me, and it had me in a little <laughs> bit of bunches. And, honestly, we were – my regiment was just disorganized for the rest of the match after that, just sort of running around whatever we were needed. Yeah, we, we were actually – at the time, we were actually shooting at another reg right down on the um, road kind of by the staircase where the wagon is. Um, we, I actually had my guys split up and in, into two shooting at you guys peeking around the corner and then them, the other union down at their, uh, wagon. So it, it was very, it worked out very well. But like I said earlier, once we lost that point, I'm like, fuck man. And then nuts, like we got to take a, so, uh, that's, that's when we charged you, dude. Yeah. We, yeah. We, we split ourselves up also, uh, right around the time we had taken B, uh, we uh, sent some of our guys to try to help you guys at A. Yeah, I saw it's that. A too late. Cause yeah, I think the, it was like right after. We had a couple of North Carolina guys around us, and they were like crying the whole time. And I was like, <laughs> shut up. So did you guys make it through this? Did the union make it through the stairs? Is that how you guys yes. got up to the yes, graveyard? Yes, yeah. 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 I totally missed that I think, CSA. I'm sorry, dude. To you know, I, everybody. I think I was one of the only ones that y'all managed to like kill or whatever, because like I died almost immediately as soon as we went for the stairs. So, so what I'll add to that. Yeah, fifth, fifth and C and and you know, we were there. And the 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 interesting part was there was there was a strong Confederate resistance 
at those stairs. It but, should have uh, been fucking. It should have been sixty, seventy fucking guys right there. Uh, it wasn't that much, and we pushed right through, and from yeah. there we went to graveyard. If you had like at least a third of that added on to what you already had, you probably would have stopped. Was us. the CSA plan from the get go to rush the staircase and take it? To yeah, that was all them? it was supposed to be. Yep, us down there on the That's low road. Awesome. And, yeah, oh. and then uh, PB and a couple guys were supposed to go capture the two flags up top. What uh, what I'll add to what Boss had said, right, is that um, the uh, Confederate team did a great job at trying to uh cut off our spawn for the good portion of the uh the event that's true but uh w what what failed them in my personal opinion is that they divided the forces too much they didn't concentrate really anywhere and as a result concentrated pushes against their their divided force was just able to break break right through and just shatter a section of the line and as a result of not having an officer shot right that the the rest of the team is unaware that a portion of their plan has suddenly broken so as like the stairs falling right if we had an officer's chat uh the rest of the team would have converged on it and held it i, but, I should have been watching them more closely though i didn't realize well, it you know and i listen I, i'm not i'm not sitting here trying to say that anyone did anything wrong or anyone anyone is the the causation of of the failure of the csa's plan but uh the, the main thing I noticed the entire round is that the CSA was divided. They were divided constantly, and therefore we were able to sit there and concentrate our forces and just push through it at key positions. And uh, in the end, that I believe won us the day. I was fighting over the wrong spot where the Union spawn was and everything until about halfway through the game, and then I realized that um, that, was, that was totally my loss on everybody's part. That's my bad. Oh, I mean, the CSA, you guys did really, really good, because uh, even though we had you by the short and curlies for a minute, which I'm surprised we were able to get that far, I mean, honestly, yeah. I, I'd agree when, uh, in saying that that's a CSA biased map, given default spawns. Um, you retook A, like, right when you needed to, uh, and then even though it took you, I think, two tries to take the graveyard back, you, you still got it back, and you know, pretty much own the top of the ridge for the remainder of the game, it's just... It's, I don't remember who said it, Smokey or Killer. It was just a minute too late. Is you know the only I mean? way up there through the middle road and the staircase, then? Nope. There's See, another I, way. We tried it. We tried it, dude. I was told that it was possible, and we tried it through the houses, and it did not happen. So it's not through the houses. You actually have to um, You do a complete 180. You go down the road and then okay. up up yep, the hill. Back towards the spot. Yeah, yeah, so you will okay. be out of bounds for about 10 or 15 seconds. Uh, but as soon as you get past it, then it's just another, a it's a hill one climb. Of my mistakes, not knowing conquest. Yeah, yep. Yep. Okay. yeah, I definitely I agree. People, that... yep. I see people at the end of the game uh, when they're we were all in last stand doing doing something like that. I thought in my head because I didn't see it clearly, but it was like, wait, oh motherfuckers! I was so <laughs> upset with myself, dude. Yeah, I would definitely say it was the timing, really, because uh, once you guys did take A and B, you did have a couple of my guys rattled. We had to let some of our guys know. We were like, we got this, boys. We're going to get this. And then, yeah, just it just came down to, like, the very end there because, I mean, we both got to, what, last stand. It was just a matter of who shot the most. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. I had fun, though. I had fun in um, Maryland campaign shit like that. I know Nate and everybody else does, too, in second of us. So, did you eat that, guys? Yeah, for Jackson Vision 2, we just focus on the graveyard the whole time. But the beginning of the round, uh, a unit, I think second MS, cut off the main spawn so we couldn't spawn at main. One of our guys told us that. And then we the flag, we just had like 150 seconds on flag the whole time. So we couldn't get our numbers up. So they just charged us off graveyard uh, a lot of the time. Um, but yeah, every, the other team did it good. You know, they kept pushing off us. Pushing us off graveyard a lot of the time. So nice job on that. And our team did great too. Yeah, that was also another reason why we decided to split off is because we were like, all right, we can definitely try to send some of our guys to help over on A to kind of relieve some of the flag spawns. But yep, CSA did amazing. Union did amazing. Both maps. It was a lot of fun. I do have a question for, for the CSA though. Like, was your plan to divide your forces as much as it? apparently was i mean there was a point i'm standing up there at the graveyard and I'm, i believe i'm standing right next to dog and i'm saying out loud like 
what is the enemy doing? Because the, the, we're not being pushed anywhere. We hold all three points at this point. And there's there's no concerted effort against us. We have resistance, right? We're facing, we're taking Confederate fire up on that hill. But it's not enough to really be a push. And I see that we're still holding A at this point. And I believe it was it was Delaware that was done there. And I'm just thinking, what what's going on? What what's going on in their heads? You know. Again, I think it was all a lack of misunderstanding on my part leading second MS. Um, I thought the spawn was somewhere else where it wasn't. Um, I thought there was more people, uh, as me and uh, Bus discussed earlier on A, um, or else I would have made that move a lot earlier. And my fault on seeing the whole goddamn union push up the stairs and somehow not seeing it. Um, supposed to be most of uh, first core there, I core. Uh, on that staircase and like i said um some guys from uh, a and v were supposed to be going to take the both flags at the top from my understanding that's a choke point it's a bottleneck um and that's why i continued to play that until i realized what was going on once i realized what was going on that's when i moved mississippi around the back of the houses captured a moved them around the back of the houses railroad track wise um and started pushing up that way i was basically playing downtown as we took the back back alleyways um and that's when we came out into the street a lot of union was still up towards the graveyard uh but i knew that uh so a lot of guys i must have died at the time um i seen that a lot of people were spawning at main spawn so i knew they would be coming this way um that was unfortunately towards the end of the map um, and we just weren't able to hold out. It was just it was it was just a lack of experience on my part, which you never really hear me say. But it was conquest. Um, well, and I, I do want to clarify. I'm sorry to interrupt, mate. Is that I'm not saying you lads played bad at all. Like it was a hell of a match, especially in the second half where you lads brought it right back. Okay, it was just in that initial moment where I I had a moment of pause and I'm like, what on earth? What well, yeah, on earth and- is going on? <laughs> and at the end of the game, I, I didn't realize that uh, it goes in a last stand, last stand. I thought it followed skirmish rules. So at the end, I'm like, fuck it, go take A, blah, 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 blah. Um, if I would have known that you could go behind CSA spawn and go up towards the, the fucking uh, graveyard, mm-hmm. absolutely. It would have been you. a totally different outcome at the end. Second MS would have been up there at the backside of that graveyard. Uh, I remember asking in... In uh, chat earlier when we were coming up with the plan, it's like, do we hold the front stone wall or the back stone wall where normally USA would hold on the graveyard? I was uh-huh. like, you know, because I, I, I don't know these maps. And it was just a lack of lack on my part. And I, I'll take that blame every day. Every day I'll take that blame. I had 25 guys with me. Um, 100% that would have been different if I would have known what the fuck to expect? Uh, oh, what I'll say, Smokey, is yeah. I look forward to facing you again. Potentially oh, you on that you map. You won't win it again, I guarantee it. Hey, hey <laughs> listen, it's going to be a hard fight, and I love that. You know me. Nope. Fucking Good. love You'll those hard there. fights. Do we just want to, talk- we want to do uh, a fun round and have this be a rematch, sort of, between Smokey and Zap? <laughs> I wasn't the, <laughs> the primary strategist, for the record, at all. Marilyn pulled really that. light tonight, so... Uh, you so can join I... uh, Battle Line Network Wednesdays. We're in there. We just there got the go. dub on downtown. So, uh, yep. Maybe I'll be a reporter on Wednesdays. How about that? Hey, yo. All right. That's Natty shit, though. That's Natty Light shit. He does all that. <laughs> He's in charge of that. But GG, good night, guys. Uh, any more union got to go? Uh, Eagle? Uh, yeah, I guess. Does anyone have any comments or questions? Yeah, I think. Uh, Are we done somebody... yet? Oh. Sorry. Oh, sorry. You got a second call. Killer. It's yeah. It's late for you. Yeah, my bad. You may. No, 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 no. I just drifted away for a second. You're, fine. You're good, man. You're good. Yeah. Yeah, Archer. My bad. Yeah, I think somebody mentioned this earlier, but and it hasn't been mentioned since. But I thought what was really cool was Fifth VA doing some Splinter Cell stuff. Oh, managed yeah. to back cap C. <laughs> um, so that was entirely them. Uh, you know, we don't we don't run on the same Discord. You know, we're separate regiments, yep. still under the same core. But that was all on their initiative. Uh, Fear, were you were you leading? Yep, that was me. So. So, it, like you said, it was a tale of two halves. The first half, we controlled the top of the hill. The second half, um, the CSA controlled the top of the hill. And once we'd finally broken through 
and everyone was kind of regrouping, getting ready to attack the graveyard, I was looking at everyone, and I was like, this is a massive push. They're in last stand, we're still in breaking, and our t the ticket train is the biggest thing in Conquest. So the ticket train just kills... Um, it just drops you down every battle state every time, and that's the biggest thing. So I was like, I gotta stop that. We gotta even the tickets because we just recaptured A. So I went all the way down to the far right side and just avoided everybody, their entire team, and back capped that C point so the ticket drain would not become a factor. So it was just straight on fight, kill versus kill. Um, and we had a little bit extra time and breaking while they were still in last stand. Yeah, during that time when we had all three points, I honestly for a second thought we might have just like ran out the timer. But then once CSA took one of the points back, I was like, all right, this is going to be a long and hard fought one. That was a good back cap, though, uh, for sure. Thank you. Yeah, props to y'all. That's great playing with you, lads. It really was. Yeah. Is Killer going to admit that he uh, he saw we were playing Rivertown and was like, you know what? I want to play CSA tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go that worked out. I'm having some mic issues. I can't hear anyone right now. He's snoozing again. That's what he's doing. We're saying very yeah. nice things about you, Killer. The nice. Sorry, what, was that? what, what was, was that? that? Rose, I heard Killer's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah thank you. Yeah. I try my best. As long as I'm better than than Murphy, I'm 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 better than anyone. Yeah, shout out to whoever said um earlier about uh holding that spawn and shit like that. Uh, that was second MS down there. We were we were trying to shoot the shit out of you coming out of spawn. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 you guys you guys were hitting a bunch of us. I, I got hit once and I was like, Oh my gosh, they're hitting us. Yeah, we get our shit together. Uh we're we're a force down there. That's that's for damn sure, you know. Uh, and that, MS that's one of those moments. Yeah. You you had us cut off at spawn and so there was very little reinforcements able to reach Bravo, right, up on that graveyard because of what you lads are doing. So I'm wondering, like, in that moment, I'm like, listen, this is one they make of one concerted push towards B, and they take it. And then it, it just, we held B for an extended amount of time. I believe that was 5th North Carolina. I'm not sure how else was up there. But it Some was... Some six was. Yeah, yeah. It, and it was, it was a brilliant moment of defense, but, you know, you got one flag... And that's a trickle of reinforcements when your your spawns cut off. It was it was a remarkable moment, honestly. Give us the task and we'll we'll do it. We'll we'll do our damn best. That's for damn sure. I look forward to it, Smokey. Yeah. Pleasure. Good shit, mate. Good shit. Yeah, good shit. <sighs> All right. Kill <laughs> <Killer. Yeah>. him. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> <laughs> with that out of the way thank you all for watching this broadcast i hope you all enjoy it was a pretty dang good event pretty cool to see the maryland campaign for the first time so yeah please like comment share subscribe check out our patreon and merch and have one for us of the night see ya you have merch Go.